Good morning everybody! It is Sunday, the start of a new week, which means the start of a new vlog, and I've been up for a while. I uploaded the DIY, the vlog is uploading, the thumbnails are done for that, all of the info is in the description, so that's pretty great. That's what I've been up to this morning. I'm, I think I'm gonna hop in the shower right now and take a shower, get ready for the day because I, I wanted to go back to sleep, but now I'm like, what's the point? I, I seize the day, am I right? Am I right? We are in Sprouts. We came to refill our waters, but these Zumbars goat's milk soap caught our attention. They smell amazing. I can't decide which one is my favorite. So we came to REI to get a hydro flask. They have a very large selection and they have a color that I want too, which I'm surprised by. It is a little after five and we are on our way to AZ88. We decided to meet here at five. I was falling asleep because we were already ready, but Crosby needed to finish his run. We brought our hydro flasks with us. This color isn't picking up that well. Eh, that's a little bit better on camera. So we came playing. I used to be a pretty good bowler. I don't think I'm gonna do that great. I had to run home quickly and get a sweater, a hair tie, and some socks. Hurry up. Wow, 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 wow. Everybody's having a good time bowling. Let's see if Ruben gets another strike. Come on, Ru. Oh, is it gonna be a strike? Oh, another split! Will she get a strike? Yeah. Update, I'm out of the running. I went to Sucksville. <laughs> this one's in the lead. Pro bowler. Crosby just got two strikes in a row. I want him to get this turkey so bad. Look, I died. <laughs> We just finished our second game of bowling. I did horribly. Crosby won. I think he had the same score that I had the first time. No. Hello vlog. It is Monday and we're starting off today in the car. Just went by Starbucks to get the coffees for the morning and now we're headed to Ulta so I can return some things and then Target. So we just finished up at Ulta and we are now once again at Ross. I feel like anytime we come to Tempe Marketplace we always go to Ross to look at new area rugs but they really don't have it. They don't have anything cool so maybe it's a sign that, that one time we, we don't came. need a rug. Yeah that after one. that never no mess. So we are home now and update on the hydro flask. I left this in the car while we were walking around Tempe Marketplace, got back to the car, it was very warm, and I opened it and drank some water, and it was so cold. So definitely worth the investment. If you want something that has cold water, definitely recommend this, totally worth it. Also very quickly at the library, I picked up The Joy of Less by Francine J, Miss Minimalist. This is an amazing book, it has opened my eyes, it's changed my thought process. So this book, it, it's about becoming a minimalist, but at the same time, I think it gives you really good information on how to just declutter your life and the things that you have that you're living in excess with. So check this out, look for it at your local library. It's definitely a good read. I'm also in the process of reading three different books. One is The Big Book of Botany, the other one is called Social, and this one is called Quirk. This one is about um, different kind of characteristics of the mind and the different facets that make up different, um, like what makes like up our personalities. I, I wouldn't say this is like the most interesting book I've ever read. Yay, Hep just got her skateboard. Punky, are you excited? Excited. I'm happy with the color. Right when I saw it, I was like, that's the skateboard that I want. We came to Sidewalk Surfer. So nice. Very nice. Very, nice. very helpful. Not intimidating at no, all, like you like, thought. No, just check it out. Try them out. Ride it around. See if you like it. Punk is practicing her skateboarding. We actually 
went around the block once already. I ran alongside of her and it was quite hot, but she's doing really good. She's doing pretty good. Yeah! These vans have a lot better grip. Birds are chirping, the sun is shining. Punk is doing pretty good. I made her put her helmet on. I think she feels a bit more secure, probably a bit safer now that she's got it on. She's working on going around corners. She just really hasn't figured out how to stop yet. How does that feel going up the first sidewalk? Kind of cool. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> So the lighting in here is horrible, but it is about six o'clock right now and I just went ahead and made a bean and rice bowl for dinner. Uh, it's still super bright outside, so we're gonna go and take pictures around seven and we just actually need to take one picture and then that's it. So it is about 7.15 right now and we're heading out to go and take one picture. Literally all we need is one picture. It's Tuesday and we it's like 7 30 at night So it's pretty late in the day to start the vlog But we're gonna go get some food and then go by Best Buy to look at a drawing tablet that smell has been eyeballing so That's it. So we just got home smell of Scott green and we noticed that their menu during the week is less than during the weekend very strange I went to Chick-fil-A. I don't think we vlogged at all. I was so incredibly hungry, so I got Chick-fil-A. What's new? We're probably gonna watch a few episodes of Bloodline, but we bought something new. Hold on, let me share it. We bought this drawing tablet that we had been interested in buying for quite a long time. So we went by Best Buy and they had it, and this was $84 with tax, mm -hmm. so. I think it'll bring more variety, creativity to our videos. Smellos is really excited to use it, so I can't wait to see what we can do with this. But right now, Bloodline. We have three more episodes left to finish off the season. Hello vlog, it is Wednesday and we are just about to head out to Starby's to go and do some work and some reading just to get out of the house for a bit. I got a package early this morning and I thought I would share it with you guys. Full disclaimer, we are working with, or I guess we have the opportunity to work with Sunglass Hut on an upcoming video that should be out in a few weeks. And so they sent me two pairs of sunglasses for the video. And so the first they sent me were these Ray-Ban ones. I'm not sure the exact name of them. And then I picked out these Versace ones. Fancy. Again, I'm not 100% sure on the name of these, but I was really drawn towards uh, just the shape of them because I feel like it kind of looks good on my face. I'm not sure. We went by the sunglass hut to try them on before uh we because they had they sent us an approved list and most of the time when companies send approved lists the options aren't really that great but i would say these and the ray-ban ones that i got solid so i'm pretty excited for first of all this video and second of all these sunglasses also last night i was on the couch and the apple tv remote you guys can already see it look at that it fell off the couch and shattered but it still works. We are headed out right now. I've got all my stuff, my Depop tote, my Hydro Flask, my other tote from the thrift store that you guys have seen me carry all the time with my laptop and stuff in there. These are the same glasses. They're just a different, mine is like a tortoise and yours is, like I don't know the, the technical name for them, but, well, I know the name of the style okay, of the frame. Okay, my face is fatter, so that's That's why they not true. Out. My face is like, no. My no. face is bigger, more round, so they look like they fit. Your face is more of like that V shape. Is it though? Is I mean, it? Yes. Janie. Hi, Janie. Boop, boop. Hi. She literally just lays here all day. So I've been playing around with the drawing tablet. Um, it comes with two free software trials. 
I don't know. Why are you not clicking on it? I don't know. This is like a learning curve. It is definitely a learning. Yeah, it's, it is not a mouse. You should watch the tutorials on how to use the pen. So somebody on Twitter wanted to know how to do this effect on a pair of jeans. I mentioned a few vlogs ago that this took me several hours, but it's because I was doing it the hard way. Um, I would just cut the bottom of your jeans or if your jeans are the right length, you're good to go, but you need kind of a raw edge. Um, and then open up the seams because really essentially all you're doing is pulling out the white threads. So when you're distressing a pair of jeans, you usually pull out the blue threads and keep the white threads. But for this, as you guys can see, I've just been pulling out the white threads. If you kind of look, you guys can see that I'm just pulling out the white thread from the blue threads. So we are, well, we've been inside the eyeglass store. It's right next to Phoenix General. The store is beautiful. The sunglasses and glasses are really cool. Um, and we tried on like a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of sunglasses. So this little, I guess, plaza is called The Colony, if any of you guys live downtown. It's right across the street from a Starbucks. Uh, oh, whoopsies. This is a restaurant that is supposed to be really good. So we came to the yard and we're at Barrio. I've never been, but these two have. They say it's pretty good. We had to rock, paper, scissors to decide on what we're going to eat because none of us can decide. There's not an alpha in these four right here. Punk got a burrito. We got more chips. I got um, french fries with a bunch of stuff. Fair got a quesadilla and has pineapple in it. And then Cross got a torta. And Nick has a pineapple. Oh, nice. <laughs> that has a pineapple. Mm -hmm. Burrito. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Judging you. <laughs> Praying for her. Hello vlog, we are in the Starbucks parking lot right now, just heading out. We have to go by Wally and pick up some stuff for the house, like, you know, toilet paper, other things, yeah, stuff, toilet paper. stuff like that, stuff necessities. That um, today I tried a different ice, I mean, I don't know if this is considered an iced coffee, I got an iced Americano, Crosby gets, he gets an iced Americano with the, uh, what, white mocha? White mocha. I got the iced Americano with uh, Sir with classic and soy. And he got one yesterday and he got a venti for like two something. I don't even know. It wasn't even three dollars. This was almost four dollars. I guess the classic syrup and the soy classic are both. syrup was 50 cents. Yeah, soy was it was 60, 60 cents. cents. Those were both extra. And then the iced Americano on its own, the tall was two ninety seven, which is basically what I already pay for a tall cold brew sweetened with soy. But this How did is get very it good. A That's what I don't for... understand. That's what I don't understand. I'm like, maybe the guy at the other Starbucks messed up Crosby's order and gave him a really good deal. We should have looked at the menu price. Something is going on with this camera. If you ever decide to buy a vlog camera, do not buy this Sony AX, whatever this one is. I'm sure the newer ones are better. She was like, oh, I'm gonna go drive around and scout locations. And then I said, oh, let me go with you. Next thing you know, she comes out of the door and walks right over to the passenger side. Oh, we haven't been here in a while. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Alrighty, it's gonna be one away. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Got herself a drizzy. First time in a really long time. Two days. When was the last time you came to McDonald's and got a drink? So it is a little bit after eight right now and I made dinner and I knew Melissa wanted some limes earlier today so I should have gone before but I didn't so I'm going to get limes now and then come home and eat. Okay, I got the limes and also avocados but I also got this for smell so let's go inside. Oh yay, thank you. Now, we can eat. So I know this doesn't look appetizing at all, but it's just rice, beans, corn, 
uh, the little avocado, mashed avocado, and then some sour cream, and also the Chipotle Tabasco, but that's what I'm eating. I got the limes for smell. I got three limes, but they're all pretty big. They were three pounds for a dollar, and then the avocados were five for a dollar. They're pretty small, TBH, but I mean, they're usually a dollar each at fries, so I thought since I was at Food City, I might as well get some. Hello vlog, it is Friday and it's around six o'clock right now. We're going to head out to film in a few minutes. As always, Friday we went to work at five. I bought you new ones of those for Christmas. Oh. And for some reason, you continue to wear the old busted ones. Well, I'm waiting for a really fancy occasion to like bust what? Out. I don't know. We're going to dinner at the White House, or what maybe, are we talking about? Maybe. Also, guys, look what Pump did for me today. I needed my undercut shaved because whew, it is hot, and that's just a bunch of extra hair. So she shaved it down for me. Also, this morning at Starbies, I asked the barista about the pricing of the iced americano and the soy and the classic are both extra i think the lighting should be it might be a little bit bright right now but hopefully not so it is 9 30 now and we are heading out i did some makeup my hair is still drying and i'm wearing this slip dress because that's all i could put together right now Let's go. Everybody is saying goodbye for the night. We've been here for quite a long time. It's like 12 o'clock. We're heading home. Everybody else or a good group of the few of them are going to go out. I'm not going to make it out. I'm way too tired. Good morning vlog. It is Saturday. It's around 9.45 and if it looks like I just got up, well, I just got out of bed. I've been up for a while. Something upset my nose last night at dinner since we sat outside and my allergies were bothering me. So I sound maybe a bit congested. I've also got some spot treatment, cream, whatever this is on my spots. I don't think we vlogged anything last night at Claire's going away party. We had a really good time though. It was great. I, um, not everybody came out, but... All the people that mattered came out. That's what Claire says. We are currently in Starbies. We've been here for, what time is it? It's 11.53. Oh, wow. We've been trying to just get some ideas for a video that we're filming for the Sunglass Hut video, and we kind of changed up our concept. So we quickly came to SAS. Punk wants to get some more fabric to make another top, but in a different material. I'm gonna get some velvet for chokers. Imagine this being a pillowcase. I found this nice fabric. I just really like the colors and the little drawings on it. You don't think it's that cute? I mean, I don't know what I would ever do with it. I just think it's really pretty. It's 9.95 a yard. Oh, no. So we just got back from SAS. Punk just picked up a white fabric, very basic to make a top. And then I picked up three different ribbons. The first one is this almost nude, but it's got a little hint of pink. And then the next one I got is just this really nice baby blue. And then the last one that I got is really cool. The silver and the blue on one side, and then it's just on the other side, blue and silver, really cool. This is only 15 cents a yard, so 30 cents for two. They look very strange right now. Now look, you can see the like residue from that lipstick I was wearing. Oh, We're going to shave this. <laughs> All right. Carve something into it. Show them what you have so far. <laughs> there, I guess maybe <laughs> you can't see it. Because there's like no designs in it. I just kind of did like some layering. <laughs> Oh, there. Now you can see the design. But put your head down a little bit more. There! Punk's head is nicely shaved. I left this for her. You said you wanted to design. Is that good? I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so. here. I'll let you see it. We are finishing up filming. It's around 7.30, you said? 7.40. 7.40. Okay, almost 8. The sun is going down, as you guys can see. Look at how beautiful it looks right now. I think we did... Okay, I think we mentioned this in our brainwash interview. Everything is like smooth sailing or it's like shit is hitting the fan Which is unnecessarily, yeah. 
which has been most of this video like we've been at each other's throats the whole time and I think I think it's mostly because we're overthinking it and because we don't ever like we very rarely ever work with companies we're always very like we start to second guess ourselves and think oh my gosh no this this everything cannot go right and that's like a neurotic person like a personality you know like that's what the people think like everything is going to go bad sometimes that's me and it's funny because when i was reading that in the book that i was reading um i was like that's not me that's never me and like that's me this whole day we just got home from the store i thought i would just quickly quickly do a food haul first thing i got petite carrots basically just carrots that they shave down to make them petite. I then got a box of au gratin potatoes and a box of scalp potatoes. And I know some of you guys are gonna say, Steph, don't eat that, it's bad for you, but I rarely eat these, so I thought I would treat myself I then got some milk because you need milk to make these and I didn't want to buy like a gallon or a half gallon because I would never honestly drink it. And then I got a Gatorade because I'm thirsty. I should drink water, but. smell of scott spinach. Had to think about it for a second. Brussels sprouts and then one roll. So it is almost 12 o'clock and we are once again signing off of the vlog thank you guys once again for spending another week with us we hope you guys enjoyed and gals i guess i don't i want to be inclusive everybody we hope you all enjoyed so don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already and we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.